Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages Spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah? Let's do it. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just dive right in, yeah? Okay, Scorpio. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for this time period of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh. All right, Scorpio. So you recently come out of a really, really self-deprecating time. Um, you know, I guess the light bulb went off and you really started making a change. Um, and that's great. I was actually very, very happy when I did the reading for the first half of the month because for so long, you know, I was getting these messages that were just like, not fun, you know, and I was, and I was getting pretty stern and it made me sad. I don't want to be, I don't want to be stern. <laughs> I want to be happy. And I want you guys to be happy. So let's see what's coming forward for you for the second half of May for Scorpio. One more shuffle. Uh, let's go one more. One more for you, Scorpio. And then I will cut the deck. All right. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Overall energy we have starting with... Whoop, Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this really could be your energy, Scorpio. Or we are dealing with an Earth sign, potentially. Um, or we're dealing with, either way, we're dealing with someone that is um, very nurturing, very compassionate, is a, uh, could potentially identify as a feminine energy. Really good wife and mother. Um, you know, uh, someone that could be considered uh the, wife, the child, mother of one's children, um, compassionate, stern, like me, <laughs> uh, and I am a Taurus, so I do identify with the Queen of Pentacles quite often. Um, 
Yeah. You, Scorpio, what I'm picking up mostly for Scorpio right now is that you are looked, you see somebody in this way. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. You have the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. All right, Scorpio. So yeah, look, things are turning around for you. Things are really turning around for you. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is talking about releasing burdens. Just being done. You're in the process. You're in the process of releasing these burdens. Now, for some of you, this is a tough process. Um, and this is why we were having so much trouble, uh, you know, over the past few months. Um, but things have finally turned around. But, um, you know, you have all these burdens that you've been carrying. And that could be, you know, thought processes, a way of life that you didn't necessarily want to let go of. Um, uh, uh, burdens associated with relationships with other people. Um, but, you know, you... You're in the process of releasing this, these burdens, okay? And it's really, in, you know, when with the Ten of Wands, when I see it upright, I see someone that's still carrying these burdens, okay? When it's reversed, now I see someone that has let it go. So for you, Scorpio, you really, you've let go of the burdens and you have chosen to start doing some work to get yourself, I believe, to this Queen of Pentacles, okay? And overall... I mean, you're probably feeling quite victorious right now. And if you don't feel it right now, you're going to be feeling this um, it, soon, in the near future. And it's definitely associated with this Queen of Pentacles. Who is that? Whoever is represented by this Queen of Pentacles, there is a victory surrounding this. Okay? All right. In your storyline, we have the Hanged Man. So um, a period of introspection, a self-imposed isolation with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So no communication, not communicating, specifically not communicating. But this is happening because you are, are um, you're isolating yourself and you're isolating yourself so that you can gain some, uh, a new insight, some enlightenment surrounding a situation. It could very well be surrounding the situation with the Queen of Pentacles. What I'm also picking up here is that some of you, Scorpios, you're not communicating because in the past, communication has been less than ideal. And so you don't, you're really, you don't feel confident enough. And this is why you have, you have isolated yourself here. You don't feel confident enough to be able to communicate right now without triggering something, without hurting someone, okay? Yeah, moving forward. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. So releasing um, releasing this energy is what I'm feeling. This this combative, um, destructive, lose-lose situations, twisted masculine energy here. With the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, what I'm getting, you're, part of this Ten of Wands situation in reverse, part of what these burdens that you're releasing, it has to do with this Five of Swords energy and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, uh, well, the Three of Pentacles talk, can talk about teamwork. It also talks about entrepreneurship, five, five, five on the counter. And we're talking about the Five of, uh, five of Swords. So yeah, this is a moment of great change, okay? Um, three of Pentacles can talk about entrepreneurship. But it can also talk about teamwork. And in this situation, it is talking about teamwork or more, more specifically, the lack thereof, okay? Because this supposed teamwork was, was hiding this Five of Swords energy, was being um, enforced, I want to say, because the Five of Swords is a very aggressive, very forceful energy. Um, it was, the, the Five of Swords was hiding behind supposed teamwork. But whatever this situation was in which someone was someone or a group of people were saying, yeah, yeah, we're on your side, we're on your side. Nope. They were only trying to manipulate you. They were only trying to get something out of you with intentions of ditching you should things go wrong or when they're just done with you, leaving you high and dry. And what they don't realize really is that is a detriment to them too. So that's where the lose-lose situation comes into play because ultimately they're racking up some really, some really nasty karma for themselves, right? Moving forward, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So an imbalance between give and take. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So we have someone that is um, releasing um, uh, releasing a situation in which they were not, they were imbalanced in, the, in between give and take. Um, just reading the comments that I've gotten on a lot of the Scorpio videos lately, um, 
Scorpio was the one that was that was kind of taking and not really giving back. And so now they're releasing this energy. I feel like Scorpio, you're kind of in a position where you do want to give back now. You do want to find a way to, to bring balance to the relationship. And this is falling under the eight of pentacles. And so this is talking about the work that you're, you're trying to do, wanting to do, willing to do, accepting this offer that has been coming towards you and reciprocating. Yes. Next, the Page of Swords in reverse with the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, so not checking up on social media, and that and this and, and so the Page of Swords can be um, spying. So someone may have been spying on you in the past, and they're not doing it anymore. Or you may have been spying on someone in the past, and you're not doing any anymore. But with the Two of Swords in reverse, it's also saying that there is indecision here. And give me just a second. This is this is a pretty obscure message. What I'm really getting here, for the most part, is like no somebody doesn't want to be a page of swords anymore, and a page of swords is someone that is uh, that lacks tact, um, that just kind of speaks their mind and doesn't without real um, um, concern about how it may come across. Um, someone that is. Uh, immature in their communicate communicative development um and someone doesn't want to be like this anymore this that someone wants to grow up mentally and in, in communication wise um they want to expand their horizons they don't want to stay in this um low vibrational way of thinking is what i'm picking up here but with the two of swords in reverse it's like they don't know how to go about it it's like, okay, they feel like they want this, but it's like, well, how the hell do I do that? And that's where, at, see, no communication with the Eight of Wands in reverse. And that's also where the hanged man is coming into play with this self-imposed isolation, okay? Moving forward, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So someone walking away and the Four of Swords. Now, all throughout these readings, the Eight of Cups has been coming up a lot, okay? But it's coming up reversed. And that's because um, in some cases, someone might be refusing to walk away, but really, it, for the most part, someone wants to walk away, but really doesn't know how. And so here for you, Scorpio, um, you're kind of taking a break with the knowledge that once you step back into the battle, so we have the Four of Swords here, which is talking about a respite, a nap time, really, uh, a rest before you enter the battle again. And after the Four of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, okay? But um, <clears throat> I feel like for the most part, this is you, Scorpio, but this could also be the other person that we're talking about here. The eight, Someone is entering this moment of respite full with the full knowledge, like knowing full well that when they come back out of it, they're going to need to be walking away from something. So you could even be, and now this is falling under the hanged man, which is you uh, self-imposed isolation. <laughs> taking a nap in order to um, in order to figure something out okay so in this moment of nap time you're working on figuring out what it is you need to walk away from and or how to walk away from it okay moving forward we have the ace of cups in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse so what I'm picking up here is someone is realizing how they have um, missed out on an offer because of the seven of cups and now this is and so the miss out missing out on the offer is represented by the ace of cups in reverse but the realization of it is is represented by the seven of cups in reverse the seven of cups can talk about wishful thinking but it can also talk about <laughs> and i just heard zillions of options like having so many options you don't even know what to do with yourself why should i pick one when i have all of these available to me well, honey, check it out. You're not the only one that has that, okay? And to be quite honest, all of these other options are really probably going to do nothing but drain you, deplete you, leave you high and dry, hurt you. But you see that ace of cups right there that was trying to be offered to you, 
that's the real deal. And now, Scorpio, you're in a position where you're like, oh, fuck. What did I just pass up on? With the Four of Cups in reverse, what did I pass up on? And how, now that you see clearer, maybe, or now that you're in a in a, mo a position where you're starting to see clearer, you're like, how the hell could I have passed up something so fucking fabulous for all that crap that was doing nothing but hurting me to begin with? Yep. Moving forward. But see, the, but I mean, that, 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 you know, that was a pretty heavy message. But at the same time, Scorpio, you're realizing it now. You're getting it. So good. Now that you get it, you can move forward to something better. And if that offer doesn't come back around, just understand that offer was a catalyst. Okay? It wasn't truly meant for you. Like, it was meant to come in your life to get you to wake up a little bit. But now that you're awoke, now that you're, now that you're woke, <laughs> uh, but now that you've awakened to the reality of what that was representing for you, you can cut that out and move forward to something that truly is your Ace of Cups. Yeah. Next we, oh man, look at that guys, the King of Cups. So you're showing up here, Scorpio. Um, I mean, your, your official card is death, but here from a, a water point of view, from a water sign point of view, you're showing up. And here you have the King of Cups with, ah, the Three of Wands. So this is talking directly to what I was just saying with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Because before the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is making a choice on which path to take, okay? It could be a choice on where, which direction you want to go in, in general. But it could also be a choice of how to get to a specific spot that you know you want to go to. With the Three of Wands, now it's action being put into place in order to get to that spot. And this is happening because of an emotional maturity that you have accepted with the King of Cups. And so now, because the King of Cups is masculine energy, masculine energy is the go-getter, is the doer, is the action taker. Now, the Three of Wands energy of taking the action um, or even waiting for your ships to come in, in for some situation, um, you know, you're going for things from an emotional point of view. Who, someone that you're very much in love with, potentially, or something that you're very... Um, that brings you emotional fulfillment, okay? And the king of the king of cups in the action oriented energy here is saying is speaking to the action being taken, going forward towards it now. And yes, I am I was saying that you know you are you are in this self-imposed isolation, but on an energetic level you're using this moment of self-imposement and gaining enlightenment in order to take action. You, you don't have to take action on a physical level for that to ring true. You could be doing this on an energetic level, which is what I was just hearing, okay? Which is why I said that. Moving forward, we have the Seven of Pentacles, or finally, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the moon, okay? So, um, all is not what it seems with the moon. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, you know, in this hanged man state, you're really um, taking stock of the fruits of your labors, of this harvest you now find yourself in or have found yourself in. You could be over, and, and actually I'm getting with the moon here, we could be talking about many cycles of harvest with the moon, like in the moon cycles. So you might be, um, yeah, you might be not just looking over this last harvest, but looking back to previous harvests and how how those turned out and, and, and taking those pieces and trying to figure out how to have a better harvest in the future. You could also be in a, round, in a, in a bit of an illusion, era, illusionary time when it comes to what you're currently trying to manifest or harvest. Things, uh, the first thing I heard when this moon came out was things are not as they seem, which also could mean that when it comes to the harvest that you, you find yourself within at the moment, it could not. It could be not as they seem in the sense that you, there may be some other factors as a part of the harvest you are finding right now that were out of your control and that you were not aware of up until recently. You could be. This could be illuminated to you if you look deep enough, if you open your mind up a little enough. But also, it could remain hidden to you. And in that case, if that's the situation, just drop it. Just drop it, and don't fear it coming back again 
because I really feel like if that's the case, it's associated with some people around you that you could be walking away from here with the Eight of Cups. And so if that energy is out of your life, regardless of whether you're aware of all of the specifics of it, if that energy is out of your life, then you don't have to worry about the effects of that energy anymore because it's not around you to affect you. All right, Scorpio? But honestly, you got victory here with the Six of Wands. And I remember in the past, uh, maybe a few months ago, the Six of Wands came out, but it was reversed, which was saying to me that, you know, you're putting on a brave face. Like, you know, you acting like you, you act like you got it, but you know it ain't all good. Well, here, the tables have turned. And now you are actually, you are either in that position or you're about to find yourself in that position where you really can walk around with your head held high because things are quite good or going to be quite good for you moving forward. You just have to continue to do the work, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. You just have to continue to do the work and continue listening to your higher self and those that you really find inspirational, those whose opinions you actually really trust, that you know are leading you towards your highest good, your greatest fulfillment. Not those people that have been dragging you down with this Five of Swords energy and the Three of Pentacles in reverse energy here, trying to make you look, trying to make it look like they're on your side, all is good, when in reality they're just taking advantage of you and draining of you of your energy. Okay. There it is, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. Your your video is relatively short and compared to others, but anyway, um, yeah. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to connecting with you guys for the first half of May. And I've been saying this with every sign. I'm going to continue saying it. I can't believe we're almost halfway through the year. But anyway, much love to you guys. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Okay? Take care. Bye.